Robert Church gets his nickname from his grandfather, a police chief for nearly three decades. However, many of the moments found on this list of unforgettable Eric Church moments are born from the other side of his family, the Stillwells. In honor of their rowdy ways, and Church's propensity for doing what he wants, when and how he wants, we've made a change to this episode of Unforgettable Country Moments. Thumbs up if you approve. Church once told Playboy the Stillwells were tall and rowdy and prone to getting drunk and causing fights. They'd surely appreciate kinfolk who can down a bottle and a half a jack, and still stand up and sing, enjoys cutting down 4,000 pound trees as a hobby, and is not ashamed to admit that his music causes some fans to fight and others to fornicate right there on the front row. Number 6 is all the singles he released that he was told would ruin his career. Start with Two Pink Lines, a 2006 song about getting your girlfriend knocked up, and continue to smoke a little smoke, drag a little drink, smoke a little smoke, and The Outsiders, a heavy metal song he offered to country radio. Others, like Lotta Boot Left to Fill and Devil Devil Aim and Fire at the Music Industry, this part of his live show is particularly badass. I mean, who blows up a huge devil at a country music show? That time, Church paid tribute to David Bowie and a handful of other recently deceased legends at the ACMs wasn't edgy or risky, but it qualifies for number five. The best part was it worked within the context of his single record year, kind of a win-win. Relentless, nefarious, and disgusting is how Church describes another group of people, scalpers. He's a crusader for making sure fans can get good seats at cost. This means paperless tickets, canceling orders he thinks were purchased by scalper rings, and a lot of threats and name calling. Don't mess with us, he said in 2014. You will not win, I will, he said in 2016. Okay, we're convinced. All right, we all know the story of number three, so we'll keep it brief. Eric Church got himself fired from the Rascal Flats tour for intentionally playing for too long. It was a move that got him blackballed by the touring industry, but in a way created the man we know and love today. Okay, stick with us here. We count the song Three Year Old as a badass moment because it runs so counter to everything we've talked about so far. This is the other side of Chief, the dad, father, and big old teddy bear, and he's not afraid to share it. Coloring, licking the mixing bowl, digging to China with a spoon, yeah, the softer side of Eric Church is very badass. Number one is that time Eric Church wrote and recorded an album in like a month, bought a German record plant so he could press it to CD and vinyl, and dropped it on us without warning. His label didn't even know about it. Fans were the ones calling them up saying, hey, what's this? Mr. Misunderstood finds Church making it all about the music once again. In fact, he didn't even do an interview about the album for six months. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and be sure to check back weekly for more unforgettable country moments.